Got my frame wrap all done. I'm not exactly for sure why people say to do that, but everyone on Lay It Low said to wrap your frame. So I had this stuff left over. I figured I'd just put it back there. It's supposed to make it stronger or something. I don't know. We'll see, hopefully it works out. Thank you, thank you. That's the kind of quality jokes you can expect to hear. Tickler's Garage, okay? I did a little reinforcement, for real. Not just a Christmas wrap job. Um, man, this is, this is slow going, but it's getting there. I got quite a bit of work to do yet, but it's getting there. I'm not exactly sure how far I'm gonna go with it. But, the very least, I'm going to take it up and over the arches and down to the, the X. Um, but, I mean, really, I'd like to go all the way. To be honest with you, it's a, it's a lot of freaking work. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go with it. And, I don't plan on being real aggressive with this car. So, I think having the rear um, reinforced and the control arms up front reinforced. It'll probably be okay for what I'm doing, but really there's no better time to reinforce this entire frame than right now. So I, I, I might be doing a little overkill for what I plan on doing, but plans change and it'd be nice to, to have it done. It's just gonna add quite a bit more time because I've been out here, besides this weekend, I've been out here pretty much every night for a few hours every night working on it and that's about as far as I got. So it's, it's very slow. Um, it's not really a great thing to film because it's mostly just taking a piece of paper, making a pattern, making a pattern, getting the pattern to fit really well, taking it over to the table, and plasma cutting out the shape. So it's, it's, it's not terribly exciting stuff. But if anybody wants to see a little bit of it, I can, uh, now that I got kind of an idea of, of what, I'm, what I'm up against, I don't wanna say what I'm doing because every time I remotely say something like, I know what I'm doing, the real thugs come out in the comments and they make sure to tell me that I don't know. Which I appreciate, thank you very much thugs. Thank you for all the, uh, all the real gangsters out there to let me know that I'm not one. I really appreciate that. I should never made how much does low riding cost video. Tons of hate. Tons of hate on there. Anyway, so that's where I'm at with 64. I've, I've definitely been working as much as I can on it, but it's just such a slow process. But it'll look really nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna straight up mold the frame, but I'm gonna try to, uh, to get it to look pretty nice. I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of material and wire and gas just to build up a really fat bead just to grind off most of it. And I'm not gonna keep grinding to weaken the welds. A lot of people care more about the aesthetics of the weld, so they grind it all the way smooth and you're taking off all of your strength. So I'm, I'm not gonna go that far with it, but I'm gonna try to, uh, to smooth it out, make it look nice. Um, but I'm gonna stop at the point where it's gonna start weakening the joint. And I, I, like I said, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna build this thing up real crazy and, and grind it all down. But I'll try to make it look fairly smooth. Um, I don't mind seeing a little bit of weld in there. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and paint this frame. Uh, I'm not sure for sure if I'm gonna do a color yet or if I'm just gonna do it like a gloss black. Uh, it'd be kind of cool, I think, to do a gloss black because then you could do the, uh, the arms and the rear end and the upper control arms a different color <clears throat> or chrome them, depending on what I do. So we'll see. We'll see exactly what I'm gonna do, but I got a long ways. I'm gonna relocate the uh, rear trailing arm brackets to probably up there. And then I'm gonna make a wishbone for the back end. Um, take out the banana bar, put the wishbone in. Probably get some new power balls. Those power balls are kind of old school looking. 
got like a hole down in there. The ones I got from Black Magic are all the way smooth, but then the uh, Powerball itself's got like a cup on the end of it. It's kind of weird. I put in the title of the video uh, Lincoln Lowrider Raffle. Question mark. Because I was thinking about maybe doing a raffle with the Lincoln. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing that on Facebook, raffling off stuff. It's been a lot of low, low dollar stuff. I mean, like five, six hundred dollar and under stuff. But I did see a guy doing a full chrome suspension, and he was uh, he was charging a hundred dollars a ticket for sixty five tickets, and that thing sold out. So there's people out there willing to spend money on bigger ticket items. Um, so I was thinking about doing something like that. If I get enough interest uh, for people on here, I might set something like that up. So let me know if you'd be interested. Um, the way I would have to do it is $100 a ticket for 60 tickets. Um, that way you have a 1 in 60 chance of winning the car. I don't want to do more tickets than that because the odds start getting kind of rough. Um, if you did 100 tickets at 60 bucks, then one in a hundred. So I think I'll stick to the hundred dollars a ticket, 60 tickets. So one in 60 chance, that's a pretty good chance. And uh, it, for the person that would win that car for a hundred bucks, that's deal of a lifetime right there. Um, or I might do, if you live far away and you can't figure out the transportation to get the car to you, do something like if you won, we could do like a cash out option where you would just take like a a uh, lump sum of cash. It wouldn't be the full amount of the raffle, um, but we'd have to figure that out. Maybe, maybe do something like that where I can just send you back a portion of the, the raffle. Let me know if anyone's interested in that. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool for someone to win that car for a hundred bucks. That'd be pretty nuts. And uh, yeah, if I get enough interest, I'll set something like that up and uh, kind of iron out the details and make a specific video just for that. So. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Impala. Um, it's still here. It's still hanging. It's still hanging. For all you doubters, naysayers. She's still hanging. With no signs of stress, which is nice. Um, I did a little work on the Lincoln too this weekend. I took the 18 inch cylinders back out and put the 14s back in it. Just for drivability, the 18s are a lot. Um, you have to run such a heavy stack of coil in the back, even with removing the rear speakers to get that to clear that it rides up pretty high in the back end. So I put the 14s back in it. I still have the two and a half ton coils in the back, but I cut about a coil and a half out of it. Um, so it's it, it lays a lot better. It's pretty much even front to back the way it lays. So it, it looks a lot better, um, rides a lot better. Um, and I'm sure once it, it breaks in in the back, it'll probably ride a little, little smoother too. But it does have the 14s back in it with the chains hooked back up. Just because the 18s, are they're hard to work with. And without an extended trailing arm, uh, you really can't use the full stroke on the 18 so and i'm not going to be putting extended trailing arms in that car so i think most of my work and focus is going to be on the impala for the time being because as you can see there is a tremendous amount of work to do there it is let me know let me know on the raffle i'll set it up i gotta go inside this whole Christmas thing, having to be with family and go see Santa, it's for the birds.